The next feature we'll discuss is the document server. Your document server is used to store documents that you use on a regular basis. To store a document in the document server, you want to load it here in your top document feeder. It's important that you load the document in the orientation that you would read it. On the screen, you see where it says Scan Original. Once I select this option, it looks like my copy screen again. So if I have a duplex document, I can let the machine know here where it says two-sided original top to top so that it knows to scan both sides. Down here I have an option that says username, file name, password. If this is a document that I'm using more than anyone else, I'll select username. I'll get my full-size keyboard so I can give the document my name. The next thing I want to do is select this option that says file name. Again, I'll get my full-size full keyboard and here I have a generic password, a generic file name. I want to select delete all and then name this document. Once I name my document and I select OK, my start, le start light is green, I can hit start and send this document into my document server. If this is a document no one else should have access to but me, I can select this option that says password and I can use my number keys to assign a password to that document and hit my start key. So now I have a list view of the documents that are in my document server. I can select thumbnail and I have a thumbnail view of that same document. To print the document that's in the document server, I want to select the document, tell the machine how many copies I need, and then hit my start key. So now you don't have to worry about keeping up with your original because you have a copy of that original stored into your document server. To delete this document, you just select the document. Here you have an option that says delete file. It's not going to let you take out anything by mistake because it asks are you sure when you say yes, then it deletes the file from the memory. Anything that you store in the document server is here for the life of your device or until you delete that document.